Published 2001 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 29th of April 2018. Updated 514 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 30th of April 2018. It started life as just a squiggled sketch in the sand, and today it is celebrating its 70th anniversary. Loved by the Queen, driven by Winston Churchill and adored by millions loyal drivers including soldiers of the British Army and SAS British 4X4 maker Land Rover is marking seven decades to the day since the first of its vehicles was shown to the public. That day was April 30, 1948, at the Amsterdam Motor Show, and today Land Rover is hosting a party and broadcasting a special commemorative YouTube film. Land Rover has created this picture charting its cars through the years in both the run-road, off-road and special just as the aluminium-bodied 4X4 was developed as a stopgap British version of a Jeep, designed to help Britain's farmers in finances after the war when steel was in short supply. It subsequently became the rugged-backed Basics Defender model and over the decades spawned a host of derivatives including the Range Rover and Land Rover Discovery. Today the UK car firm is celebrating with a party at the Land Rover Classic Works in Coventry, which restores old original models to pristine condition, to coincide with that a broadcast goes out at 8pm tonight at https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash Land Rover Land Rover said, the special broadcast tells story of how Land Rover was created as a stopgap vehicle after World War II and went on to become the world's favorite 4x4 with over 7 million sales, it features some of some of the greatest Land Rovers ever built and some of the people who make and drive them, it will pay tribute to seven decades of adventure, humanitarian aid and hard work across classes and cultures around the world. The firm's classics division now offers customers the chance to buy Land Rover Reborn, a fully restored Series 1 The Rugged Backed Basics original Land Rover spawned a host of derivatives including the Range Rover and Land Rover Discovery. Pictured, the vehicle lineup at the Coventry event includes the first prototype Land Rover known as Q, after its registration plate, the original two or Range Rover and the seven-seater Discovery, as well as Expedition, proven models from across the decades. Current range, including the sector-defining Range Rover Evoque and Velar SUVs, will also be on screen as Land Rover celebrates its lifelong status as a favorite among celebrities, politicians and royalty. Jaguar Land Rover Chief Executive Professor Dr. Ralph Speth said, Land Rover was born with the launch of a single vehicle. Today our family of SUVs is testament to the pioneering spirit of innovation that has characterized Land Rover for seven decades. Land Rover's timeline shows how the cars have developed through the years from the Back to Basics original Series 1 to the new Velar and super luxurious Range Rover SV Coupe. The original Land Rover started life as a squiggle in the sand, when, shortly after the Second World War, Rover director Maurice Wilkes sketched on a beach near his holiday cottage in Anglesey a workhorse vehicle to replace the American Army surplus Jeep he was then using. So in 1948 Britain's answer to the ubiquitous Jeep, the Land Rover, was born and launched at that year's Amsterdam Motor Show as the world's first mass-produced civilian 4x4 costing £450. The Land Rover Reborn Project show car was based on a series one sourced from Australia and meticulously rebuilt the rugged original Land Rover proved a huge hit particularly with Britain's post-war farmers and country dwellers with post-war rationing and steel and short supply but masses of aluminium around, the vehicle was initially made with the lightweight metal. The original sage green paint was acquired from a fighter plane factory. The first pilot pre-production model called Huey, after its registration number, Q166, and is fully working. Astonishingly, some three-quarters of the two million Defenders ever built since then are said to be still in regular use. Land Rover holds a royal warrant, as supplier to the royal household. Royal relationship with Land Rover goes back to 1948 when King George VI viewed the original Land Rover. The Queen, who is regularly photographed at the wheel, took delivery of her first one shortly after coming to the throne in 1952 and has used Land Rovers ever since. The Queen used a specially adapted Land Rover for her first world tour in 1953 and Her Majesty and Prince Philip continue to use the carmaker's vehicles today, including the somewhat more luxurious Range Rover Her Majesty used a specially adapted one for her first world tour in 1953, while Winston Churchill was given one as an 80th birthday present at his home in Churchwell, and another was used for Pope John Paul II's tour of England. In 1982, shortly after ending his love affair with young Princess Margaret in the 1950s, former Battle of Britain pilot group Captain Peter Townsend set off on a 57,000-mile journey around the world in his short wheelbase Land Rover station wagon which he completed in 1957 and chronicled in his book, Earth, My Friend, The Defender became a regular movie star movie featuring heavily in the film Born Free, 1966, about the story of Elsa the Lion. 
defenders are still used today by the Born Free Foundation, whose founder Virginia McKenna Obe was in the movie. Hollywood actor Steve McQueen was a fan. It also featured in the Angelina Jolie film Lara Croft, Tomb Raider and in the James Bond movie, Skyfall, to celebrate the 70th birthday. Land Rover staged an expedition into the Alps this year to recreate the drawn line in the sand except this time the shape of the car was drawn into the snow on top of a mountain, rather than on the beach where it was first sketched out. The Defender name itself can be traced back to 1990. It was created to avoid confusion with a new Land Rover launched the previous year called Discovery. Military versions of the Defender have seen service around the globe and the armed forces have purchased almost 200,000 variants of the UK-built Land Rover with the most famous being those used by the SAS in the desert, nicknamed Pinkies, after their painted camouflage color designed to blend with the dunes. To cheering and applause from the workforce at Land Rover Sola Hull factory near Birmingham, the final Land Rover Defender 4X4 drove off the production line in January 2016 and joined the firm's heritage collection. A radical new generation Defender is to be launched next year. A special broadcast with TV motoring pundit Quentin Wilson, left, and presenter Andy J. Wright will celebrate the seven decades of Land Rover cars, including the original Range Rover, pictured in the foreground. To mark the final year of the classic Defender Land Rover launched a series of official special editions ranging in price from £27,800 to £61,845 at the Frankfurt Motor Show seven years ago Jaguar. Land Rover signaled how potential high-tech replacements for the Defender would look, unveiling a macho, open-topped off-roader, codenamed DS100 Sport, designed to be as useful off-road as the trusty original. It also showed off a more fun-packed version looking like a beach buggy, as well as a more practical workhorse version. In January, Land Rover announced plans to, sympathetically renovate the world's most historically significant unrestored model, one of three pre-production cars from the original Amsterdam Motor Show launch on 30 April 1948, it will take the stage at the Land Rover Classic event alongside its closest modern relative, the 405 PS Defender Works V8 revealed earlier this year, of which only 150 will be produced, 1948 Land Rover Series 1 launched at the Amsterdam Motor Show 1953 long wheelbase version of the series. Series 1 is introduced 1956 Oxford and Cambridge teams complete on London to Singapore expedition in Series I 1958 Land Rover Series 2 unveiled with more refined design 1970 original two-door Range Rover the classic goes on sale 1971 Land Rover Series 3 launched 1972 Range Rover crosses Darien Gap on 18,000 mile Transamerica expedition 1976 1 million Land Rover built 1979 a Range Rover wins the inaugural Paris Dakar rally and again in 1981, 1981 Land Rover begins legendary partnership with Camel Trophy 1981 four-door Range Rover released 1989 Land Rover Discovery, the third Land Rover model, goes on sale 1990 original, Landy, relaunched, and renamed Defender 1994 second generation Range Rover launched 1997 all new Freelander is unveiled with innovative new technology, Hill Descent Control 2001 third generation Range Rover with all-round independent air suspension revealed 2003 inaugural G4 Challenge sees 16 teams traverse USA, South Africa and Australia 2004 Range Stormer Concept Previous Performance Range Rover and 3-door Body 2004 Discovery 3 LR3, the third generation Discovery, launched at New York Motor Show 2005 All-new Range Rover Sport unveiled 2006 Freelander 2 LR2 launched the first Land Rover to be manufactured at Halewood 2007 LRX concept car previews design language of a new luxury compact SUV 2009 fourth generation of the Land Rover Discovery introduced 2010 Range Rover Evoque, the world's first luxury compact SUV, makes global debut 2012 fourth generation Range Rover introduced the first all-aluminium SUV 2013 three new generation of Range Rover Sport unveiled at New York Motor Show 2014 Special Vehicle Operations SVO division is officially launched 2014 Range Rover Sport SVR debuts, the fastest, most agile, most powerful Land Rover 2014. Discovery Vision Concept Previews Design Vision for New Family of Discovery Vehicles 2014 Launch of Discovery Sport, a new premium compact SUV with 5-2 seating 2015 Trio of End of Line Defender Editions revealed with biggest sand drawing in UK 2015 One of a Kind Land Rover, Defender 2 million, sells for £400,000 at charity auction 2016 Last Defender rolls off the production line 2016 All New Discovery with World First Remote Intelligent Seat Fold Technology Launch 2017 Land Land Rover launches the fourth Range Rover, the Veeler 2018 Limited Edition Range Rover SV Coupe debuts at Geneva Motor Show.